Hello and welcome. You are now looking at Canva.com. And Canva is designed for non-designers to create professional graphics on demand. It allows for custom graphs to be created with a template-based system. There's also a feature for photo editing as well as graphic editing. And since the graphics are made to be created on demand, you can both create the digital form as well as a print form in various sizes and dimensions. So the process in Canva involves working with the templates, customizing them for your specific situation, and then making them available via the output that you want. Now in this course, we're going to work with all of the basics of customizing the templates and then outputting them in different sizes and shapes. And whether you decide to work on your mobile or desktop, you'll be in position to know whether you want to work with the paid or upgrade version or whether you can use the free version. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another. Welcome back. Now, Canva does have a free upgrade for 30 days, and this is for the Canva for Work level of being able to use the platform. Now, the upgraded level does give you access to everything that you have with the free version, with the addition of the photo library, the ability to resize your designs, custom uploads, and then other features which you can see here in this section. The most prominent features are that you can download your designs with transparent backgrounds as well as exporting designs as animated GIFs. So it's a good idea to start with the free version since you do have access to the templates as well as being able to upload your own images and having access to storage. And then if you find that you need any of these other features, they are available to you and you'll be able to upgrade in the panel. Now as of the recording of this video, you'll see a $12.95 price. If you pay yearly, obviously, you're going to pay less in a lump sum. And we're gonna start the course assuming that you have the free version. So if you choose to upgrade, once you see some of the other features, you'll be able to. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can access your Canva account through your mobile device. Right now, we are looking at an iPhone device, and you can do the same thing with your Android device. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our App Store, and then we're going to search for Canva. And then when you see the application, you're going to click Get, and then Canva will download to your mobile device. Once it's downloaded, you'll click Open, and you'll then log in using your email and password. Once you do that, you'll then log in and you'll then have access to the Canva dashboard. On the right hand side menu, you'll be able to click the three dots and you'll be able to create a custom sized design. To create a new design, you'll click the plus button on the left hand side where you can choose the format. In order to see your existing designs, you'll click the right hand side and you'll be able to see them in this panel. Once you're in this panel, you'll be able to access the gear That'll give you access to the upgrade, managing your team, and then the help section. And if you have a team, you'll then be able to access the stream by clicking the top link. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, once you've logged into your account, you will have settings that you can configure, and you're going to go to this top menu and you're going to have first your public profile. And what you'll be able to do is to click Edit Info, and you'll be able to update with your image, your website, and then your location if you choose to. However, you can leave all of this as the default setting and then just click Save Changes. What you can also do is edit your account settings. And it's here where you can sign out of all of your other devices, for example, if you are also logged into your mobile device, you can log out of that device from this page. You can also manage any billing that you have if you have in the upgraded level. Now Canva will give you the opportunity to purchase premium images and other features once you are doing design. And so if you want to have access to some of those paid features, you can add in a credit card. Now, this is not going to bring you to the paid level. However, what it will do is it will give you access to some things that are only available by payment. And if you're working with a team, 
you'll be able to determine what that team is here in this area as well as the billing contact for the team. There's also a tab for print orders and what you'll see inside of the actual canvas is that you'll have the opportunity to print certain designs that you are making and you will be able to order those designs and have them sent to you and you'll be tracking those orders here in this area in your account settings. Now finally we're going to come back to the account tab and if you feel as if you want to just deactivate your entire account you can do that from this panel all you need to do is to click this button that says to deactivate your account and what you'll note is that this is not downgrading your account from the paid version what you're doing is is you are doing away with your account so that you will no longer be able to access your designs or even log into this account. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now one element you're going to see on your left hand side is called the brand kit. And you're going to click access to that link. And this is an important enough element that even though it's part of Canva for work, that you would actually know what it is. What you're going to be able to do with your brand kit is to indicate to Canva what your brand colors are in this area. And what you can do here is you can indicate two colors. If you want to go up to a third color, you would need to upgrade to Canva for work. However, you can use two colors as part of your brand color palette. Now, one important aspect of the brand kit is that you can upload transparent versions of your logo which again would give you access inside of Canva to use them along with your brand colors. You can also set your brand fonts. Basically what you're going to have access to with the brand kit is to be able to use your entire visual branding in any graphic that you create. And so in this area what you're going to be able to do is to upload your own fonts. Once again, this is going to be part of Canva for work and could be something that you might consider important enough to upgrade for. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now you can collaborate with team members on designs inside of Canva. And to do that, you're going to go to your left side menu and click this link that says create a team. What you're then going to be able to do is to write in email addresses of individuals that you want to collaborate with in your team. Once you write the individual in, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to determine which role you want the individual to be in. If you want the individual to be an administrator of the account, you can switch them to administrator when you sign them up. Once you have your team members in, you can then click this button that says send invitations. Those individuals will then show up as being invited to your team. That individual will then have an email in their inbox with your invitation. All they'll need to do is to click that invitation to accept it. What they'll then need to do is to create their own account. They'll then click the Get Started button. And then they'll place in their email and their password that they want to use with their account. They'll then sign up with their email. What they'll then have on their home page is they'll have an email address that they need to confirm. They'll then need to go to their inbox to confirm their email. And their account will then reflect that they are part of your team. Now that individual within your team will be able to create their own group to work on specific designs. You come back to your invitation page and click the F5 button to refresh. What you'll notice is that you have a team page and if you click all members then what you'll see then is the individual that you have invited will then be part of your team. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now the most important aspect of Canva is going to be the template system which you can use in order not to have to design. And you'll see the range of templates that you have available to you. And it's going to be in this section that says create a design. And you'll see the different types broken down into sections, social media, documents, 
personal education marketing events and advertisements each section has multiple forms so for example you'll see everything from an Instagram post and social media all the way over to a YouTube thumbnail when you click inside of one of the templates you'll notice there are going to be different forms of that particular design and you'll see them in this section you'll also notice that you're going to see the word free written on some of them that means then that if you like one of the other templates that doesn't have the word free you can pay for that template in order to use it and as you'll see in upcoming videos we'll be able to change different elements of the templates by using this left hand menu and once you start the editing process you'll notice then that you have a section here at the bottom called your designs and this will hold the edits that you have been making to your templates in this area what you can also do to find the design is you can use this search engine and you'll just write in the kind of post that you're going to be creating what you'll then be able to do is to click that link this will give you access to a specific kind of template where again you have choices between free and paid templates and once you click in here you're then inside of the canvas that you'll be working with and that we'll be covering for the rest of this course okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video welcome back now you can also create a design from scratch to do that what you'll do is you'll click this create a design link and then you can click this link that says custom dimensions you'll then write in the dimensions that you want your item to be you can do this by pixels or inches millimeters or centimeters once you have it the way you want you'll then click create new design what Canva will do is it'll match all the templates that you will fit into the sizing that you have you can then select one of the free templates by clicking on top of that template that will then become part of your canvas you'll then be able to make changes to the canvas by using your elements your text background or even uploading content from your hard drive what you'll be able to do inside of this canvas is you'll also be able to add a page and of course you'll be able to do this also when you're creating using a template when you add a new page what you'll then be able to do is you'll then be able to add in a different template for that page inside of the screen what you can do is you can copy this page and then you'll have a third page and it'll be the same one that you just copied you can add notes to individual pages once you have that note in you can then click save if you don't like the page what you can do is you can click this trash can to delete the page you'll then have two pages on this screen you can view the pages as full screen or you can bring it back down to fit to page you can also view your pages by using the page manager this will give you access to each page to work on one at a time to exit out of that view what you'll do is you'll click this button that will bring you back to your title page and your working canvas okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video now once you've started work on the design you can then share that design with other members of your team so that they can work on it with you so for example what you would do with this design is you'd click this share button and then you would choose a member of your team you would then determine which privileges that individual has you can give them viewing privileges or you can give them editing privileges or you can send it to your entire team to give them the same level of privileges so in this case we would just click the send invites button to this document that individual when they come to their screen they're going to notice then they're going to have a link there that says shared with you they're going to click inside of that link they're then going to be able to click inside of that document they can then decide to use this document as a template or they can click edit 
to bring it into their canvas. And they'll then be able to make changes to the document. But once they've made changes, they'll have some options. They'll then be able to either publish this to a specific output or leave their changes. Once you refresh the page, what you'll notice is that you'll see the changes have been made. You notice then that there's a note from Canva indicating that another individual is editing the document. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to start the process of looking at some of the editing elements. And we can do that by going into any of the design creation templates. In this case, we're going to look at a presentation template. And we're going to open that presentation template. Once we're inside of the canvas, what we can do is we're going to pick one of the templates. And we can pick any one of the templates that we're going to want to work with. Now, because we're inside of the presentation template, we're going to have several pages. And the presentation template allows you to work on one page at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to click one page. And that's going to bring one page onto our canvas. And what you'll notice at the top left is that you have a tab here that's called Elements. We're going to click inside of the Elements tab. And this tab will allow us to bring in certain elements that you'll see here on the left hand side panel. We can bring in photos and you'll notice that those will come up and we can add those to our canvas. We can also add in graphics. These are also things that we can add in to our canvas. But you're going to notice that certain elements will say free and other elements that you'll see will have a price tag on them. If you click the element that has a price tag, you'll be able to use it. However, you'll have that element watermarked. There's a link to the bottom right where you'll be able to remove the watermark. And then you'll be able to purchase that element by clicking on this button and you'll be able to use the credit card that you have on file. And one thing that you'll note, if you go back to the original template and you go back to the list of templates, you'll notice that the templates do not have price tags. And that's because the template system comes with your use of the Canva platform. And you'll notice that each of the elements on the canvas, you click on top of those elements, we can move those elements and then alter them. So for example, we can rotate this element. We can size this element. And we delete the element by clicking on top of the element. You'll see the handles. And then we're going to click the delete button that will move the piece from your canvas. If you want to bring back the piece to your canvas, all you'll need to do is to click this undo button. And you'll see the element come back to your canvas. You can click the undo button again. You can bring it back to the right size and reposition it. Now the reason that's important is if we want to take this element, click on top of it, delete it, what we'll need to do then is we'll need to go to the element that we want in its place. We'll click on top of that element. That'll bring it to this part of the canvas. All we'll need to do then is size that element down to where we want it to be, move it into position. And we'll be able to bring in any element that we want, replace any element that we want, or use any element that we want from the Elements tab. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, before we move on to the text element, one thing that you'll note is that every time that you highlight one of the elements that you place down and you click on top of that element, you're going to see that there's going to be a menu here at the top. All of those things pertain to this particular element that you placed. For example, if we place the cursor on top of the background, what you'll notice is that the elements change and the menu changes. If we place our cursor on top of this element, then we have a menu. And all of these are things that you can do to this particular element. So for example, if we wanted to filter this element and we wanted to make it more grayscale to match the element that's already there, we could do that. We can also use the adjustment menu to adjust the color. We can use the crop menu 
to crop certain elements of the element. We can use the flip element so that it appears in a different format and you'll see that the elements are reversed. We can copy the element where we have a second one. We can then delete that element and then we can position the element. We can position it forward or backward or to the back at the top and then we can undo that to put it back where it was. We can also make it a transparency. And so, for example, what we can do is we can make it so that it is more opaque. And we can also place a link inside of the element by clicking this element, placing the URL that we want to be there. And now we can move on to the text element. What we can do is we can add in text to our background. So, for example, we can add in a heading by clicking this element and you'll see that there's a heading there. We can add in certain text elements and you'll see the text element appear. We can then position that text element where we want it. Of course, just as we had with the elements menu, when we click inside of this element, we have a menu that we can change. We can change in the font, size of the font, the color of the font, and even the orientation of the font. We can link to certain elements in this area. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. And the next menu element down is the background. When we click on top of the background, you'll notice that we can change the background of our existing canvas. You'll also notice that even the canvas that's already there, we can then go to this very top menu and we can change the background color even before we add in a background element. What we can do is we can go to the background and you'll see that there are going to be free and paid backgrounds available. You can then click inside of the background element that you want and you'll see that element in the background. And then we can change the color of that background to what we want it to be. Now you're going to see a menu for this background. And what we can do then is we can then change the transparency of the background. And what you'll see is that those elements, we can make them more opaque. We can also adjust these elements here in this menu. And so basically what we're changing are the elements that are already on top of the background template that we have placed. And we can try multiple backgrounds until we have the one that we want to use. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now we can also upload our own content to the canvas. So for example, if we were to take one element and then we were to delete that element and then we wanted to add one in its place, we can go to the uploads area. And basically what we can do then is we can drag in an image to this area or we can just click this button to grab the image from our hard drive. And you'll see the element available here in this area. We can actually grab as many images as we'd like to have here in this area. And you'll then see that Canva is uploading the elements to this area. And once you have them all here, they are then available for your canvas. And then you can use this element as you would any other. So for example, if we want to place this element inside of our canvas, all we're going to do is to click on top of that element. We're then going to have that element here available to us and basically then we can then start by sizing down the element and making it available where we want and of course then we have this menu available to us in order to make changes to the element and you'll see that we are able to change the nature of the element by clicking on top of any of the elements that we have here and so basically what we can do is we can customize with the images that we want inside of the 
content that we're creating. In this case, as we have this element selected, what we can do then is we can link inside of this element just as we can any other element. We can also rotate this element. And so basically we have available to us the ability to customize our content with our own images or pre-made images that we have already created. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, what we can do is we can delete the content that we've added, and then Canva gives us access to other forms of content. To find it, we're going to go to this area, and we can add in any of these seven elements from third parties. So for example, we can add in an embed. So if we have in the embed code from any of these services, we can embed something into this area. We can add in a TED Talk. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add in the TED Talk link here in this area. And we'll then click Add to Design. And you'll see then that our TED Talk is then added. And you'll see all of the elements, everything from SoundCloud to Twitter and then Facebook. And you'll see here that we have links where we can add in our emojis. We can add in specific Facebook photos. We can add in specific Instagram photos or even photos from our Dropbox. We can add in YouTube videos as well as sites from Jiffy. And so what you have here is you have an extra element that you can use in order to add in content in order to customize your design. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now, once we finalize the design, we can download the final image. We can do that by going to this arrow. I'm going to click on top of there, and you'll notice then that we have formats that we can use in order to download. We can download this image as a PDF. We can also download as a PNG file, as a JPEG file, or as a PDF print file. And of course, we can also translate this into an animation if we have Canva for work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to then click this element that makes this a PNG. We're then going to click the download button. Canva will then prepare the design and then we'll have access to it on our hard drive. And you'll then be able to view the image from your hard drive. And you'll see the image here. As we said, we can also download this image as a PDF. So in this case, we're going to use the PDF standard. Canva is going to prepare the design. We'll then be able to download the PDF to our hard drive. And then we'll have access to view the document. We'll see that document then as a PDF here. We can also do a print quality PDF. So for example, we can click this link. We can decide to leave out the crop marks. And then we're going to click download. Now this one does take a little longer for Canva to prepare. But once it's prepared, we can then click this link. We'll have access to our print quality PDF. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another. Welcome back. Now, one way to output the content is to output it into a presentation. And we can do that by going to this drop-down arrow, and you're going to see that there's going to be a link here for a presentation. What we're going to then do is to click that link. You're then going to see that we can download it into a standard presentation, and we can also output it into a presenter view. So if we click the presenter view and then we click present, what you're going to see then is you're going to get a dialog that will tell you what your audience is going to see. What you're going to do then is you're going to drag this into the area where you are going to be recording or that your audience is going to see. Now assuming that you're using two screens, you'll then have the presenter window. This window will have your notes 
and everything that you'll need in order to make explanation of the actual image. And all you'll need to do then is to click got it. You'll then be able to present this image along with the notes that you have. At the same time, your audience will be seeing the same thing except they will not be seeing your notes. And that's how you can take any document that you're creating in Canva and you'll then be able to use the presentation view if you have two screens or two ways of being able to display what you have. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. You can also output your content to social media. You'll come to your drop down menu and then what you'll do is you'll find the appropriate social media site that you want to send your content to. So for example, we can click on Pinterest and then we're going to connect our Pinterest account. We'll then give Canva permission by clicking OK. And then what we can do is we can then send our content to where we want it to go. We can add in a description and we can then click publish. Canva will then prepare our design and move it directly into our Pinterest account. And we'll be able to see our pin here. We can also output to Facebook. For example, if we find our Facebook page or our Facebook group, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Facebook group. We're going to connect our Facebook account. We're going to give Canva access to our Facebook account. We're then going to give Canva permission. Canva will then require us to authorize it inside of our group. We'll then be able to write in our post and then we'll click publish. Canva will then prepare our design for our Facebook group and we'll then be able to view our post. And we'll see it on Facebook. And you'll see all of the areas where we can output our content. We can do it in Slack, we can do it on our LinkedIn page, we can go on to Twitter, Tumblr, and other places. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to finish by going to Twitter. And we're going to connect our Twitter account. We're then going to authorize Canva. We're going to write in our content and post. And then we're going to click publish. Canva will then prepare our design for our post to Twitter. We'll then be able to see our post. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now one of the more interesting output options you have is to output to a PowerPoint presentation. And one of the things that highlights this is by seeing by seeing a multi-page document. So in this case, we're going to add in a page. We're going to add in another page. And we're just going to add in more pages. Now what we're going to do is we're going to output this entire document into a PowerPoint presentation. We're going to do that by going to this drop-down menu. You're going to see here that there is a link that as of the recording of this video, this feature is a beta feature. We're going to then click this link. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decide on how many pages we're going to have. Now one of the things you'll note is that in this area, you actually have four premium images that you'd have to pay for. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this document. We're going to take out the premium images. We're going to come back to this area. So now none of the images in these documents are now going to be considered to be premium. And so what we can do then is we can then click this download button to download this entire document as a PowerPoint presentation. So we're going to click download. Canva will then prepare the design. We will then be able to download to our hard drive. And we'll then be able to open up our presentation as a PowerPoint document. And you'll see our document as a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now Canva also allows you to output your content into a website. And what you can do is you can go to this drop-down menu. 
and you're going to see that as of the recording of this video, the website link is going to be considered to be a beta feature. So we're going to click this link that says website and that's going to bring us to this page. And basically we're publishing into a responsive website. Now we can determine what kind of style that we want. We can have a scrolling website and Canva will show you what that looks like. We can also have a classic navigation website where we're going to have pages. Now obviously since this is a multi-page website, our website would have pages. We can also then have a standard website, which is going to be one single page with a navigation bar. In this case, we're going to click Open Website. And you'll see our website here. What they'll then be able to do is they'll then be able to take that link, place it inside of their web browser. They'll then be able to see our website then. So basically, you'll be able to output your content into a site that you can give the link to others. Now the link is going to be part of a Canva website. However, you can output the content very quickly so that people can view your site in their browser. They can also do the same inside of their mobile device and browser. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. In conclusion, you've now seen all the basics of creating a design in Canva and outputting it into some popular forms. So what you can now do is you can now pick your own format. You'll then know how you can pick your own particular template. You can now edit that template by placing those pages inside of your canvas, adding and taking out elements, adding and taking out text, changing the background, and then adding in uploads that you place inside of Canva. You've also seen how to manipulate content that Canva gives you access to, including embeds, emojis, and social media content. You've now seen how to turn your content into a presentation, how to download that content into different formats, how to output into a PowerPoint presentation, and into a specific website. And although most of the functionality exists within the paid level called Canva for Work, we also looked at the brand kit and the importance of it and being able to have those elements available to you when you are using Canva for your business. And lastly, we've seen that Canva auto saves all of our designs so that we'll be able to use them for later. Okay, so with that, thanks and I'll see you either in another video or in another course.